Howdy folks. I was going to make a peach shrub video because we got a bunch of peaches recently because, well, it's a long story, but we got a bunch of extra peaches. But these shrub videos have been getting a little repetitive. Um, you know, all the shrubs are pretty much the same, so I thought I would just make a video about shrub in general and like how to make any shrub. So, you want to make shrub. Uh, all right, so there's a, a few a few topics to cover. Um, first, you want to make shrub, you need to pick a fruit. Um, pretty much any fruit will do. So you want something flavorful and juicy. Um, like, really fibrous things don't work great, like rhubarb doesn't work great. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't use a cucumber because Cucumbers are just don't taste like a lot. They're just kind of watery. Uh, berries, of course, work really well. Uh, pineapples work great. An apple might work if it was the, you know, a flavorful enough apple. I haven't had much luck with pears. Those just don't have a real strong, intense flavor. I usually will choose my fruit based on what I have available. Um, when it's raspberry time, I make raspberry shrub. When the blackberries are ripe, I make blackberry. But you could, of course, use frozen fruit if you want. Um, I've just defrosted first. Now, you don't really have to add anything to your fruits, like spices or whatnot, but if you have a real mild flavored thing, you might want to add some spices. I've done that recently. For the peach shrub, I did actually add cinnamon and clove to it just because I was afraid the peach wouldn't really uh, make it through the cider vinegar I was using. My basic philosophy with the shrub, since I'm usually making a cocktail with it, is that if I want that herb flavor or the spice flavor, I'll add that in some other way and then I have options. If I put mint in my strawberry shrub, for example, then I have strawberry mint shrub. And if I don't want mint in the cocktail, I can't get the mint out. But if I want a strawberry mint cocktail, I can always add mint syrup or put some mint in it. You get the idea. Of course, there are no rules to any of this. You can do what you like. So, you've chosen your fruit, you've decided on your spices. What do you do next? Well, uh, first thing you want to do is weigh the fruit. You're going to cut it up and put it in a container. Just go ahead and weigh how much you've got. And I would usually use about half the weight of your fruit in sugar. So if I had 500 grams of fruit, I might use 250 grams of sugar. But I often go less than that because you really just need to cover the fruit, get it, get it nice and mixed up in there, and it should work pretty well. Because I like to try and get all of the sugar to dissolve in the fruit juice. If you have too much sugar, it won't all dissolve, and that's, I don't know, seems wasteful, I guess. So, you pour your sugar on, and uh, stir it up to make sure it's all coating all of your fruit, and just let it sit. Now, you let it sit at least a day. Uh, two days is better, and anything over two or three days is probably fine. Like, you could do that, but it's probably not necessary. But you could probably leave it a week if you wanted to. No rules! Nothing really bad happens if you leave it longer. Now, once once your shrub is done, you're just gonna drain it out. I have this mesh bag that I use all the time that I originally had from making beer. It's like a grain steeping bag. You could probably get one of these at a beer uh, homebrew supply store. But anything will do. Cheesecloth probably work. Just a nice fine strainer. Uh, it doesn't have to be super fine, like you don't need to use a coffee filter, but you certainly could if you wanted to. Now you could potentially just use this syrup as is, um, sweeten anything you want, you put it on your pancakes, uh, but of course we're going to add vinegar to it and that's going to preserve it and it won't go bad in the fridge, uh, it won't get moldy, it'll basically keep forever. So once you've strained out the syrup, you, uh, you're just going to want to measure it by volume. Um, and I usually put in a third to a half as much vinegar. If I have 500 milliliters of syrup, I'll probably start at 200 milliliters of uh, 
vinegar because I don't want to put in too much at first in case it's too overpowering. You really want to sneak up on how much vinegar you're putting in. Vinegar is pretty strong flavor. Although you will want to use a quality vinegar. Don't buy some cheap ass vinegar and expect to have good results. Keep it classy. Now, what kind of vinegar to use? Now this all is a matter of choice. No rules. I like to match the vinegar with the fruit. Some berries, I like to use a Pinot Noir or red wine vinegar. That just sounds right to me. Pineapple, I like to use champagne vinegar or you know, like a white wine vinegar. It just seems color, it seems to match the color. It's a little bit of superstition on my part. Uh, I put balsamic in the plum shrub and that worked out great. Uh, balsamic is a bit sweeter, you know, so you're gonna wanna, again, adjust for the end flavor. You could also, of course, m use two things. You could put some balsamic and some apple cider vinegar, for example. Now, cider vinegar is um, a bit stronger than the other types of vinegar I've mentioned. So you want to be even more careful in using cider vinegar not to overpower your fruit. Now, quick sidebar about the Dunnings. Dunnings are a term I'm trying to popularize. It's the leftover bits. When you're done making shrub, you'll have this wad of uh, sweet fruit, basically. And of course, I like to infuse those into some uh, booze to make a flavored, a flavored booze. Strawberries and, and tequila go great. Strawberry and gin goes great. Rhubarb and gin is great. I made some, uh, I made some peach infused vodka this last time. Uh, if you have some berries, you can do a little vodka and rum, and you can make a delicious uh, sort of fruit liqueur to make to use in cocktails. All this is great. This is all great stuff. Uh, another good thing about it is you don't need to make a ton of it because, I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to drink, you know, a, a whole bottle of strawberry tequila. But, you know, a couple hundred milliliters, I can make a couple of drinks or, you know, just drink it straight. It's great. If you put spices in your shrub and then put all that into the booze that you're doing later, uh, the spices might extract more easily than the fruit. I made peach bourbon here just recently, and there was cinnamon in there, and the the peach infused uh, whiskey came out uh, pretty cinnamony. And if I was smart, I probably would have pulled the cinnamon sticks out partway through. But you know, live and learn. I usually just leave the fruit in the alcohol for a day or two, and that's usually fine. Now, what do you do with the shrub? Well, the main thing that shrubs are great at is making a soda. So a little shrub and, you know, a glass of, a glass of fizzy water and you've got a delicious, you know, fruit soda, basically. Uh, strawberry shrub, sodas, raspberry, blackberry are all delicious. This plum one came with the balsamic, came out tasting ex almost exactly like Coca-Cola, which is great. Uh, I might have one of those right now. Peach soda is surprisingly good. Now, so any highball you want to make with a fruit soda, you can make. You can make a gin and strawberry soda. It's a no-brainer. It tastes, del tastes delicious. Uh, or you can get fancy. I've got a new shrub and I'm trying to make a drink. I'll generally put in two parts of base spirit, half a part of shrub, and see how it tastes. Usually I want to add something else. Usually in a Amaro, something bitter, uh, if it's not sweet enough, something sweet. So I'll usually pick a base beer that goes well with my fruit, I'm thinking. So for example, the Minority Whip, I put in two parts of bourbon, one part blackberry shrub. So far so good. You need some other element though to, to help it out. So I'll put in a little bit of Fernet, that'll add a bitter element, delicious. And I also will often put in a little maraschino just to sweeten it up a little bit. Sometimes these vinegars get a little strong, and so you need to adjust it depending on how your shrub came out. The other great thing about these shrubs is you can always make a margarita or a daiquiri. So if I'm going to make a strawberry daiquiri, I can do this anytime, even when strawberries are out of season, because I have shrub in the fridge. Now. Uh, margarita would be basically be an ounce and a half of tequila, 
three quarters lime and three quarters orange liqueur. We can argue about margarita recipes, but bear with me for a second. You take your two other, you have your tequila, now you take your other two ingredients and the sh we're gonna put shrub in there, but the shrub will act as an acid let the, like the lime would, and it'll also act like a sweetener, like the orange liqueur would. So we're gonna cut both of those down and add shrub. So when I make a strawberry margarita, it'll be an ounce and a half of tequila, half an ounce of shrub, half an ounce of lime, and half an ounce of orange liqueur, and that comes out great. You can do the same thing basically with a daiquiri if you wanted to make a, um, I don't know, a peach daiquiri. We're gonna turn down the lime a little bit, turn down the sugar a little bit, and put in some peach shrub, and that's gonna be great. shrub daiquiri. Okay. Yes. First of all, daiquiris are amazing. Vinegar has a slightly different kind of acidity than lime. It adds another dimension to it. The peach comes at the end. It's like a peach sort of aftertaste, which is wonderful. If you wanted to up the peach a little, you could put in peach bitters. I have some forgot to do it on this, but peach bitters have that sort of an upfront peach note. So you can add that to your peach soda as well. Yeah, don't forget, don't be afraid to put bitters in your soda. Delicious. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me just say in conclusion, shrubs are great to have around, uh, especially if you want a couple of options for non-alcoholic drinks. Uh, if someone who doesn't drink comes over you can, and you say, you got three flavors of soda you can offer them. That's pretty cool. They're great fun to mess around with, just to experiment and try new things. And you can have the most incredible margarita party if we're ever allowed to have parties again. So we'll make a shrub today. And that does it for shrubs. Uh, ask any questions you like down in the comment. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And we'll see you the next time. Daiquiri kicks ass.